Hello, Ectosage here on the Sage channel. It is sleep, art, game, and eat. And today I'm showing off these weird cube things here, which are basically gravity controlled ships. These are ships designed to be completely controlled by nothing but artificial masses and gravity generators. Now, there are different types here. These all basically are built the same, but they have different systems turned on and off. But this is a purely driven by gravity one. So I'm going to really quickly fly inside this one and basically get it moving, sort of demonstrate it being moved about and then I'll explain actually how it moves and then I'll go and show some of the variants. So I'm going to fly down here. Eh, silly way to get in. It's a bit odd. And also by the way you can see some weirdness over here at these corner pieces. The devs really need to add a... basically what I'm using are these... I think it's these here. Yeah, I think it's one of these. It's basically with the windows that are at this slanted angle. They need to have one of the ones that are inverted, just as they have the inverted versions between the two of these. That way we don't end up with this weirdness. But anyway, enough of that. Let's go over here. Let's get back to what I was supposed to be talking about, which is these artificial masses being driven by gravity generators to control a ship in every which way. And I sort of mentioned this was a possibility when these were first added, and I just thought I'd actually go through with it and actually make it. And... This is a very simple ship, as I said, I'll explain in a minute. It's got a big cube in the middle of it that's basically being pulled by gravity generators. And to control it, I press K, scroll down through all these artificial masses. It would be really nice if I could maybe click on that one, shift, and click on that one, and then control G to group them, but unfortunately we cannot. But scroll down, you got all these, and you finally see our forward, back, down, back, left, right, up controls. These are basically just moving it in these directions, not actually turning. And then we have these different rotation controls to turn us all sorts of different directions. But really, right now, we just want to go forward. So I'm going to turn this on. One, two, three. there we go. You can see we got moving pretty dang quick. We're actually moving at 41 meters per second now. And let's say maybe we don't want to keep moving like this. Maybe Let's go back in here, and let's say we want to put ourselves almost in an orbit. So we want to keep going forward, but we don't want to go quite that fast all the time. So we're going to set that to that, and then we want to be turning to our left. So we would call that rotate left. It should be, yep, rotate left. Then we got this one, we're going to turn these down a bit. That way we're not going too much. Now I got two of them because they're on opposite sides of the structure, and i got to make sure I have them both set about the same. We're going to get a bit funky, and there you go. Now the ship is being driven forward at the same time it's being turned left. Now, unfortunately, it's not being driven forward at the same speed that it's being turned. So we're ending up in this ridiculous spin here. We're just spinning in place. Very, very hard to control this thing. So let's go back in here. Let's find our... Oh my god, I'm getting a bit dizzy here. Let's find our rotate left. Okay, let's just shut these down. Actually, let's leave one on. Let's find our rotate right. I'm getting really dizzy now. This is bad. Turn these on, and these will very quickly begin canceling out that other one. This one that I left on. Let's actually kill it all the way, and these should really start canceling these out now. And there you go. You see we're slowing down ever so slightly. It's taking a while. There we go. We're really slowing up. I'm just using the background because I'm afraid to close it like I just did because, oh my god, now we're going to start spinning the other way because I close it like an idiot. <laughs> okay, okay, off, off, stop, 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 stop. Back on, back on, one, two, three, four, five, kill reactors, pop this back open, go back in here, and now that we got it basically so it's not rotating so much, we can just shut these off, turn our reactors back on, and now we still had that one system set to be pulling us forward if I remember correctly, so now this ship is being flown or pulled forward, yep, you actually know we're not, we're just floating, nothing should be on. I think we're still turning a bit though. Well, of course we're still turning because I didn't get us to a perfect spot. But uh, you get the drift of how this ship controls. It's very, very strange. I'm actually going to try to get us back to over there right in front of us basically. So let's go down. Really annoying that I can't group all these. Really, really annoying. Let's try a little bit of rotate left just for a second here. One, two, oh, that was too much. We need to rotate right now. Come on, don't panic. There, that little pulse. Oh, those pulses are almost too much. I have to really, I should turn this down a little bit more. But there we go. Now I think we're facing, yeah, about forward where I want to, towards those asteroids over there. Now we're going to go ahead and turn on our speed to go forward. Well, uh, let's up this so we get some serious speed going forward. You can see our speed at the bottom right there increasing pretty damn quickly because we have so many of those artificial masses in there. And there you go. You see we're going pretty quick. Now, I think it's because 
I have a seat at the top of the ship, and I don't have anything at the bottom. For some reason, this thing is acting as if it's slightly off kilter, which is causing it to drift downwards, which is actually pretty bad. And we've actually now gone too fast into this, and I don't think I'm going to be able to counter this correctly. Is now to counter this since we're going down. Oh wow, we're in trouble now. We are in a lot of trouble to go. Okay, the counter this spin is we're aiming downwards. Now we can have to have to rotate up. So let's try to counter that spin that we've got ourselves into with this. There, that's countering it nice and quickly. Let's kill one of those. And now, as soon as we look like we've stopped, pretty much we'll kill the other one. Okay, now we're starting to spin in another direction. You get to drift. It's very very hard to control like this, especially considering you have to scroll down and find them. Now I'm really quickly going to basically reload this and go and show you the inner workings of this a bit more directly. Alrighty, so here we are, everything reloaded. I'm going to fly to the other side of this last road here where we have the inner workings of the system. Now, this is basically the exact same thing that I have inside those bigger cubes, except for smaller reactors, but it still functions exactly the same. So if I was to hop up here and turn it on, or actually hop up here and get into its systems, you can see we have the exact same layout in here that we had on the previous one, all of our little controls. Very, very hard to use these quickly as we just found out. Anyway, let me go to third person. I'm going to now turn on our reactors, and you can see that if I was to do Alt-Shift-F12, of course, since all my gravity generators are currently set to off, nothing shows up. Now, if we were to say, hey, let's move to our left a little bit, where this hopefully won't go terribly wrong, so let's find left, and let's just turn that down really low that way we're not being pushed too quickly if I turn it on now you can see it's pulling us that way really really nicely and you can see it's gravitational field has showed up from the gravity generator that is set to take us in that direction uh, let me actually kill this that way uh, we don't get tossed too far away crap okay this is me panicking sorry about this everybody we need to go and take this back to the right and do that kill us kill us no stop us from moving and unfortunately there's some weirdness again going on here with the center of mass apparently being off or something where the ship has gotten a bit of a spin don't exactly understand why that's happening and also now we seem to be being flung back another direction brilliant let me reload this again alrighty so here we go reloaded once again I'm gonna go ahead and turn all these on and there we go now that all those are on we can now actually turn on our reactors, and since they're all on and set the same, it's canceling each other out. You can see the gravity thing at the bottom left there is set saying no gravity because they're all pulling in different directions. Now, I'll just go over really quickly how it works. Basically, if we want to move to the right, as we were doing early, we're, we were basically just activating, not this gravity generator, pardon, but the one over here on the other side. So this one right here. We're turning that on, so it was pushing all of these artificial gravity blocks that are within its big green sphere, which is actually this one right here. So it's basically designed to only affect the ones sort of in the central area. It was a turning on, pushing all those that way, making the whole ship move to the right. Then of course, if we wanted to move to the left or cancel out, we would turn these on. For some strange reason, we were getting that spin. I don't quite follow that. I really just don't understand why that was happening, but it must be some weird physics thing I don't fully follow or glitch in the system or something to do with the fact that we have that cockpit slightly offsetting the mass of everything. But anyway, much the same as that, we have this gravity generator here to make us go forward, basically taking all this and making them fall that way, being pushed that way by gravity. And then there's one on the other side. Now, for turning, that's where we had these reactors here and here sort of doing their job. If we want to turn basically to the left, such as I just did right here, like this. If we want to turn to the left, we'd turn on this gravity generator here, which would cause all these to fall that way. And considering they're so far offset from the middle center of mass, the ship would spin. And that's actually, you can see here, it's only affecting these right here with its small green field. And then we have another one to help turn it left over here, this one here, would turn, push those that way, causing the ship to spin. And then we, of course, have the vice versa ones here to counteract that and try to turn right if we wanted to. And that's, of course, mirrored over here with this one. That would push it that way. And then we have the same thing basically set up here for if we want to rotate counterclockwise or clockwise on our ship. I didn't actually touch those, but we could have used those to do so. And, of course, that's mirrored on the bottom. Up and down, much the same right there. You can see it's, it's a bunch of stuff, but overall... It, it works, sort of. 
For some reason, it seems to drift a bit strangely and start turning, even if it shouldn't theoretically be turning. But anyway, going off of that, the fact that it is so hard to control, we do have some variations up here that I'd like to show you guys. Basically, here's the one we were just in with that very simple setup I just showed. Well, I say simple, that setup I just showed. And then we have this one here. And this one, I believe, is the only real difference is that we have these engines up here. So if we were to hop into control panel, turn everything on, there you go. You can see we have engines. We can try to go upwards or whatever very, 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 very slow. Now, these engines are basically just going to be used for inertial damping to try to help give us a bit more control. So if I was to say, hey, let's go once again, as before, go forward. Let's turn this down to 0.26, and we're going to need to go back at some point to try to stop us. So once again, let's set this to 0.26. That should give us a bit. There we go. So now let's turn this on and try to go forward. Voila. This ship is being propelled forward. And of course, if I show our gravity gravitational field we've got some a lot of weirdness going on here but you can see the one gravitational field that's pulling us forward sticking out of the back there so the ship's going forward now if we decide to turn this off we can of course go back down to our forward one and kill it and if we want to stop faster than those little inertial dampeners our engines are going to be fire we could of course turn this down and try to slow us up but of course with these small engines we don't really need them unless we want to stop quicker which we do now a strange thing much the same as the other one i think we've actually ended up with a bit of a spin so let's go ahead and stop ourselves find our reverse here uh forward back there we go turn it on let's give it a big spike and then kill it and that should have probably yeah, dropped our speed way down now the strange thing is though we're actually i believe going the other way now <laughs> yeah actually the spike was a bit too big we're actually going the equivalent of backwards now if I was trying to center our view you can see we're going backwards but another thing is we are actually spinning now it's with that in mind that this sort of s oh actually are we spinning I think we might have actually stopped spinning this is strange it looks to me like the ship stopped spinning so it might be engines are enough just to get the ship to behave as we like so let's actually if it is behaving as we would like. Let's now, I wish I could minimize this by the way and put it in a corner that way I could just control the ship or even <laughs> if I could put this in a second window in the game that way I could control it a bit differently. But anyway, let's go ahead and say, let's go back to where we came from. And if this is working as intended and we're not getting a weird spin, this should work. But you can see there on the left side of the screen, it looks like we might be getting some weird spin there. Yeah, there's some things moving a bit strange. Overall, we do seem, yeah, we're not landing back exactly where we were, but we're definitely a bit better off, and we've shot past everything, so let's kill that, turn on forward, stop us. Definitely a bit of a weird spin. Definitely, definitely a bit of a weird spin. Don't fully understand that. But you get the idea. There's a lot of interesting stuff here. God, it takes forever to get to the controls. I could probably manage this decently if it wasn't for these fracking controls taking an age to switch between them all. Damn, that's an infuriating. Sorry, I'm getting just a wee bit angry at that. So let's kill- Whoa, 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 whoa! Okay. Kill you. Turn forward on the stop us. Yeah, we've sort of- Now we're in trouble, I think. Okay, there we go. I somehow actually managed to get it back here without even being able to see, really. But you can see we have turned a little bit there, and we seem to be drifting a bit strange. So, you get some weirdness, and of course, if we were to do a turn with this, if I was to go into here and say, hey, let's rotate counterclockwise, why not? Let's get ourselves to rotate in counterclockwise. With only the engines, now that I've got myself going at this, oh my god, and of course it takes an age to get back down here, so shutting them off wasn't as quick as I thought. There's not going to be any easy way to stop the ship from spinning now. We're stuck in there. The only way to stop it from spinning, of course, would be to turn on the opposite engines here, or yeah, gravity generators here, and try to slow us down. You can see that's actually worked reasonably well. I'm shutting one off to try to control how quickly we actually do that. And that should be about good right there. So there we go, now we're spinning very slowly. So it's all very finicky, and you can see there we've actually, we're very unlevel. It actually just stopped completely. It seems like the game must have some sort of automated thing to sort of control that. But you can see the ship ended up, instead of pointing out horizontally like this, it's now pointing with its horizontal plane sort of like this. Some weirdness is going on there. And of course, with that in mind, once again, I move on to another ship here. I believe it's... This one just has gyroscopes. This is pretty fun. And, but eventually, I did put gyroscopes and engines. That's that one. But let's show this one first. And I appear to be upside down, actually. Yeah, that's the bottom. This isn't even the bottom. Where am I? I'm completely turned around. 
Yeah, this is the bottom of the ship, so the top should be on the other side. Sorry about that. But anyway, with that in mind, I have gone ahead and had gyros, and of course all these engines on this ship should be offline. But having gyros, I think in a lot of ways, is more powerful than just having engines. Because with gyros, as you can see, I can move my ship. Which means, if we please, we can do as I did when this was first added. I can go ahead and find our forward power and turn it all the way on. And voila, while it's moving, I can now turn this ship. And basically, it's like having a big thruster at the back of your ship and only being able to push in one direction. It's pretty cool. Very, very finicky, hard to control, and dangerous without, you know, automated inertial dampers kicking in. But it's, it's pretty dang awesome. It defeats a lot of the purpose of having all those gravity generators and things there to allow you to turn. But overall, I think it's pretty damn cool. Let's try not to hit everything now, please. Okay. Well, there's a minor impact. Let's go ahead and show the last one now, since uh, I've gone and done that. Okay. Yeah. Alrighty, so the last one, I believe, is this one right up here. And this one, as I was saying, has the engines that we were showing earlier, and the gyroscopes that we also had in the previous one. Alrighty, so here I am in the cockpit. And let's just turn everything on, and voila, now we have our engines, and we have our gyroscopes. And now, basically, it is a normal ship, except for if we want to move in any direction super quick, what we can do, of course, is scroll down through a million of these annoying things, find our control, there we go, on the right, turn it on, and now, voila, we're moving to our right super quick. And let's say we also want to go forward, so once again, I have to scroll down here, a bit annoying, but I guess I'll get used to it, voila, forward. Ta -da, and now we've managed to avoid whatever might have been coming out of us magically. Kill that. And let's try to balance that out. Move back this way. And you see, with these gyroscopes, we're not getting a weird spin as much as we were before. We're actually able to have a lot more control. And also, we don't have to worry about ourselves drifting too, too much with these engines. This is actually a very, very strange setup that I think could allow large ships to have an insane amount of maneuverability if this was all, you know, set up correctly. So now let's say, let's actually go down. I think these are, should be heading towards some asteroids. Oh, we, we cleared them already because it took me so long. But now we're going forward and down. And of course, I can rotate like this. Now, a setup like this, I believe you'd probably end up not really wanting to use the turning systems that are built into here. All the rotation systems that I put in here. I don't think you'd really want to use these. They don't, they don't seem to be able to allow you to move or turn as quickly as just gyroscopes. But definitely for added power to be able to move... Ooh, yeah, let's, let's turn on back as if we were stopping really quickly. Kill that and kill that. Well, uh, that should get us some stopping power. Actually, now we're just going backwards really quickly. But anyway, I think it could allow for a lot of very, very, very powerful or quick moving ships. I look forward to seeing this once the scripting gets into the game. Once you can basically take one of these big cores that I put in. Get rid of the rotation system, I think. And just have the directional system set up. And be able to basically take a huge ship that should be pretty cumbersome and basically use this as a gravitational warp drive to speed these things up super super quick in a bunch of different directions not just forward and backwards even to the sides and allow insane maneuverability I mean imagine that huge ships coming right at you collision course and suddenly oh look at that if they didn't have to scroll like this suddenly the ship would be shooting off to its right like this whoosh and you see me yeah, the parallax even between this ship and the asteroid way over there is pretty notable Pretty awesome. I like it a lot. Anyway, uh, sorry if this video is a bit long for what it is. I just, um, it's a pretty simple thing once you get it going, but in this, of its own right, I think it's pretty complex and set up. And of course, it took a lot of me, um, yeah, sh sort of messing with a gravity generator while being flung out in the space, taking the settings that I learned and then basically shutting it off, reloading a save, and applying those. That way, my gravitational generators didn't affect each other so, so much. But, uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's pretty cool. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll put it up on the Steam Workshop. Probably will, actually, but uh, it might be a while. I'm, I'm pretty bad at actually making sure I get all these up there lately. Sorry about that. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys. And I uh, guess I'll see you next time. Bye!